Welcome on a wet night for all concerned. It's been raining cats and dogs here. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon. And we're certainly in the mood for Champions League group stage action. It is Anderlecht up against Aston Villa. Yeah, Derek, thanks. You can't really go on and win tournaments unless you're consistent in the group stages. Very important you don't drop points. Looking forward to this one. Well, as a team, Lee, they love to apply almost suffocating pressure. Based on the lineup, do you expect the same approach today? Yeah, I think so, Derek. It makes it really difficult for the opponents to find their rhythm unless their touch is absolutely perfect. It forces mistakes, so I'd expect we'll be seeing plenty of that from them today. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Jose Callejon plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And it's an interesting looking attacking constellation with three forwards listed from the start. And this Champions League group stage contest commences. And possession lost, intercepted. Chadley has it. Eberechi Ezi on the ball. Di Mata. And that was a very fine read. Well, with a place in the knockout stages guaranteed last time out, the visitors will be hoping to continue that rich vein of form this evening. Well, it's almost a perfect scenario getting your place in the latter stages before the final games. Group's not over yet, though. They'll want to keep their form. It's all about translating threats into goals. It's with Ruben Neves, Milner, Sigurdsson. And he really is danger personified, but in this game, Lee, what do you think we might see from him? Well, when I look at a player I'm playing against, the first thing I look at is how quick is he. And if he is quick, if he's got pace, I have to play him a certain way. That's my first objective, stop him getting the ball so he can use that pace. They've decided to take the corner short. Milner. Rice. Neves. Nothing wrong with that idea. Milner! And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, here's the replay, here's the value of crosses, and when they come in like this, almost teed up on a plate, he swings his boot and it, catches it absolutely perfect. What a finish. One nil then. Well, I know many people question the wisdom of using him in this position, but you have to say he's adapted well, and if the last few games are anything to go by, 
this could become a pattern. Well, yes, Derek, he's been terrific, hasn't he? It's been difficult adjusting to the new role, but he's really bedded in now. By the end of the day, the manager and the coach, he's done... Oh, a lovely ball. Can they get in behind them? They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, we see it again, Derek. There's all ways of scoring a goal. Laces outside of the foot. On this occasion, he uses his instep. It's a really, really good finish. Well, his players have followed his every command and some. The coach must be delighted. Well, a second.